Hey guys, Jess Alec here. Today I want to go over how to wash your fall. A lot of you have them. It's about that time and you're a little lost. So how to wash it, how to style it, mainly blow drying. I feel like that's where we get the most caught up. So this is just an original fall. You can tell by the cap size um, and I'm going to give her a good wash. I only recommend using the Halo Couture wet line for the Halo Couture falls just because it was made for it and I'm really confident that it's what the piece needs. Um, a lot of these pieces especially with how often we wear them, they get really dry. So we need something that's super hydrating, doesn't have any keratin in it, um, and we'll bring it back to life. Okay, and don't be afraid if you go to wash this and you're like, the water is brown, is that okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been on your head a few times. So just be prepared for that. It's not the color washing out, it's, it's dirt, you know, kind of gross, but it's okay. First step, we'll use the shampoo. And the biggest thing with this is make sure that you are really getting in the cap because that's where it was closest to your head. It's kind of gross. Just get really in there, but still be gentle, but get in there. Um, another thing when you're rinsing, make sure you're rinsing with cool water, not scorching hot. It doesn't need that. Just really lather it up in there. Okay, next we move on to the conditioner. The conditioner is different from the mask, so do the conditioner first, and then you can do the mask. Next, we're moving out of the mask. This is super thick, so don't be surprised if you have to unscrew the top off to get it out or it might just really take a lot of muscle. <laughs> but a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to fill your whole hand with a mask or anything. Go ahead and rub it around, it's really thick. And this I would honestly just focus on the mid-strand ends. I don't feel like you need it in the cap area, but it's totally up to you. After you've applied it, then you can just lay it out. I would recommend letting this sit for at least 10 minutes so it can really absorb and hydrate itself before we're gonna rinse it out. Well, it's been sitting for a while. I rinsed it out. Now I'm going to dry it. The biggest thing with these, I feel like where it goes from super easy to not easy is if you try to dry this immediately after. It's so wet, so wet. So I would take a towel or a microfiber or a t-shirt or something and just absorb as much out of there as you can. And then we're going to set this out to air dry safely for an hour. What you're looking for is for it to start to kind of curl up, not curl, but just you start to see the natural wave in it um, and it's about 50% dry so it's no longer dripping um, it looks like towel dry per se I almost forgot before I take this over to dry <laughs> this little guy is the serum and it's thicker than the spritz spray that's a spray oil it's really lightweight this one is thicker so this one we want to put on the halo while it's drying it's thicker because it's meant to go on wet so just apply it everywhere. It'll, again, just help keep it hydrated. Anything to make these pieces last a long time is what we wanna do, and a lot of that has to do with hydration. So just apply it everywhere, and then while it's air drying, it should absorb everything. If you feel like you need more after it's air dried some and you're ready to blow dry it, put more on, it's totally fine. It's not so heavy that it's gonna make it greasy feeling, but if you need a little bit more, that's totally okay. Okay, this fall has been sitting out for a little bit. It's still definitely damp, but it's not sopping wet like how the other one was. So you'll take your brush, be very gentle with it, hold the cap in your hand, and just brush it into place. If you hit a snag like I did, don't try to pull through it because you might just rip it right out of the cap. So just be very gentle, especially when you're on the cap part, and brush it through. Um, if you still needed some oil, if you feel like it's still dry, you know, I've had these for like well over a year or something, um, then you can definitely use that serum to get more oil on it before you blow dry. Otherwise, anything after, mostly dry we want to stick to the spritz spray because then it's more lightweight you don't want this to feel greasy if anything i like when the falls are a little bit dry because they look more lived in and just realistic so blow drying this is probably a little unconventional from what you normally would do so i hold it in my hand i have the cap in my hand um, this is the front of the fall it's facing me just my preference and then I take my hair dryer and I put a nozzle on it that way I can direct where the air is going because what helps this be a lot easier to put on my head is if the hair is going forward. What makes a fall not blend very well is if the hair is to the side or to the back, which if you have a lot of hair, doesn't really matter. Most of you have really fine hair and that's why you got this piece. 
So blow dry the hair towards you always. When in doubt, because it's it naturally will just kind of start to push back. And then when you're styling it, you can push it back easily. But for some reason, making it go towards your face is really hard unless you're blow drying it in that direction. So I'm gonna take my dryer, I'm gonna just start air drying or blow drying the cap just like this. One step that I should mention is make sure the part is exactly where you're wanting it. So you can see where this one is at and where the clip is. Make sure if you're like not center or slightly over that you already have it parted that way. Otherwise you'll have to do this all over again, like wet the cap down and change the part. So don't forget that part. Okay, so the top is pretty much dry. I have it going towards the face. This next part, you can, you can clip it up in a hanger and blow dry it with a brush. I don't usually do that just because I don't want to kink. That's what makes these so tricky is you don't want a little divot in the cap after you've dried it. So I actually will prop this up against my body and if I'm doing it that way, it also doesn't get that hot. Um, and then I'll take my dryer and I'm just gonna blow dry the ends this way. By the time this is finished, it's not super smooth, but that's okay because most people's hair isn't very smooth. And what makes these look not as real is if they're perfect that's not realistic. So we want it to have some texture already because you can smooth it out with an iron or if once you clip it on your head, you can round brush smooth it if you really want to. Um, but I prefer that this has a little bit more texture once it's dry rather than it being so sleek like a halo. A halo is a completely different objective that we're trying to get to when I blow dry it and this, we don't want that. So just put it up against your leg and I dry it that way until it's completely dry. So periodically just stop and use your detangler brush to kind of reposition everything and smooth it out. But you can see it's already getting really dry. These dry pretty quick. Um, a lot of you have asked if you can put these on a head form and you definitely can. You can get a really, I'll link it actually in this because I get this question a lot. Um, there's a very inexpensive one on Amazon for 30 bucks and it comes with a stand, a head, and then some pins to hold it in place. It's not you know, invincible, secure, but it definitely makes it easier to style. If you don't want to style it on your head, then you can just put it on the form and you can do your curls that way. You can do a little bit of blow drying that way. And that way it's just not something that you're holding. So let me show you what that looks like. Cause we have one. So you've probably seen this on Instagram cause we use it a lot, but all you're going to do, I just use the center line on here as my center. And then it comes with these little pins that look like this. And there's a whole pack of them in there. So you can just stick it through the top they're like the diameter of a needle so it's not going to ruin the fall or anything and then put one i'd say put three in just to make sure it's secure and it's not going to move on you um, this also comes with not just this stand but one that connects to a counter so if you have a really good lip um, on your bathroom counter then i actually think that's better because it makes it even more secure this can still move around i just think it's easy to style with i also think it's great to store with um, I can't believe I've actually never talked about this until now. So once it's on like this, you can use a round brush or a flat brush and blow dry it smooth. But the biggest key to styling it for yourself in a way that it's going to be easy to blend right off the bat is just keep the, the direction forward. So if, if it also helps you to set this cap a little bit further forward than you can. Um, and then when you're curling, if you curl it, then go towards the face and back again, over directing forward. If you're round brush blow drying it, do it forward. I'm telling you, that is the key. Whenever someone's saying they're having a hard time with their fall, I can usually tell that the hair is coming right out and straight down. So if we can go forward a little bit, it's that, that much of a difference because these have um, a border on them and you can tuck it in pretty tight with the clip, but what helps cover it too is that there's hair going in that direction, even if you're gonna wear it totally straight. Doesn't matter, it makes a big difference. So I hope these tips help. Please comment if you have any more questions. Um, another helpful way to get a hold of us is if you send me a video of you trying to, whatever you're trying to do, put it in, blow dry it, style it, so that way I can help you and see 
uh, what you could change. Otherwise, I can just give you a list of recommendations. But this is the original fall. You can definitely do it with the hybrid the same way, also with a bang. So I will link this head form because it really is a game changer um, and it just makes styling so much easier. Um, but yeah, and if it's your first time seeing this piece, we do these all custom. We do them in my salon, but we do the consult virtually and we ship it directly to you. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise go to my website, fill out the form and I can reach out to you.